Were you followed? Come on, you, you know me, Frankie. Do I? Yeah, I mean, we've known each other all these years and you know me better than your own mom. I mean, you know me so well that... Yeah, okay. Where is that boy? You know him. He's uh, he's always late. But Johnny's a good kid. This this is gonna be this is gonna be good. This this is gonna go well. This is, no need to worry. You so said there's anything to worry about. Not me. I'm I'm not worried, boss. Thought I might find you punks here. Hey, Johnny, where you been, kid? Oh, you know how it is. The city's population of condemned houses just keeps growing and growing. A guy like me is liable to mix them up from time to time. <laughs> Always with the jokes, this kid. Right, Frankie? I'm not here for jokes. Sit down. It's late enough already. <laughs> this, gentlemen, is our inn. It's not gonna be easy, but if we have the right equipment, I believe we can break through and break the seal. That's a small space, boss. Even if we can break through the cement like you say we can. I know a guy. You know, small Hands McGee? Tony Bianchi. I've worked with him before. We cracked the safe in Meade County nine years back. That was your first bank, wasn't it, boss? You know they say our guys are small hands, right? Bruce. Tell that runt what happens to little boys you don't know their place. I've worked with you too long to get talked down to. He didn't mean anything by it, Frankie. Johnny's a good kid. We wouldn't have made it out last time if he hadn't done what he did. Let's not talk about that. Not feeling so tough all of a sudden. You're not scared, are you, boy? I'm not scared. What then? This yard is a lot like my mother's. It used to be the only thing I wanted in life. What? Oh, just a big yard to play in. Why don't you shut up and take a seat? What? Is someone watching us? I don't know. I, I thought I saw her. What do you mean, her? The woman. From the last job. I, th I thought I saw her. You crazy? Oh god, I don't like this. We've both gone batty. Woman's dead. You should know that better than any of us, Johnny. Shut up! There is someone out there. You better hope they didn't see you gawking at the window. I'm sure Johnny's eyes were just playing tricks on him. There's no one out there, right, Johnny? There's no reason to get worked up for nothing. I swear I could see her. It was just for a moment. She was standing in the moonlight. It was almost like she was glowing. I don't feel so well. If I'd known you were such a wet blanket, I never would have hired you. Sometimes I wish you hadn't. What did you say? Stop! Stop! This place has given me the creeps. There's a bad energy in the wall or something. We should just find another place to meet tomorrow. You just need some rest, Johnny. You'll see. No one's going anywhere. I picked this house. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> nothing wrong with it? It's condemned. You're lucky I don't have time to get someone else for this job. I've severed the fingers of men less insolent than you. Johnny doesn't know what he's doing, Frank. He's delirious or something. What about you, Bruce? Want to sever anybody's fingers? Ever killed anyone? Sure, kid. I've had to kill once or twice. I didn't like it, but you know how things get. You gotta do what you gotta do. Isn't this great what we have to do to survive? Any dope with half a brain can survive working retail. Me? I have to steal money and kill defenseless women. Sure, you can go back to the scum and little lives I took you from. You can survive. But how many boys your age do you know of who live in five-star apartments and drive the kinds of cars you do? You should be on your knees kissing my feet and thanking me for what I've done for you. How many boys my age sneak around at night in rotting houses, always looking over their shoulder? Your problem is you're not tough enough. 
You're a spineless worm. Do you believe in hell, Frank? No. It's a ghost. Quiet, you imbecile. There's someone in the house. It's probably a squatter. What do we do? Well, there's no way of knowing how much they've heard. Why even ask Bruce? Frank only has one solution to everything. Thanks for volunteering, Johnny. We're going up there and you're gonna kill him. No, I don't think I feel like it. You'll do it. Or our friend upstairs won't be the only one buried in the backyard. Go ahead. I don't give a damn. I'll do it, Frank. There's no need for things to get out of hand. No. He needs to learn who's in charge. If you don't do what I say, I'll make you squeal. It, don't do it! Ah! Think of the job! <sighs> You'll both go upstairs <sighs> now or I'll kill you. <sighs> I knew this house was right. There's ghosts in here for sure. If the snitch got away, you're both dead men. There's no one here. It was probably just an animal or something. Were you too stupid to have thought of that? You. No, Frank! What are you gonna do? Bruce was right. This house is full of ghosts. I can feel my sins closing in around me. Maybe I'll just let you haunt me too.